colonizing migrants, Belarus is waging a border war with EU neighbors. At least seven migrants have perished in the icy no man's land on Belarus's European Union border. Minsk has been sanctioned as a result of strongman Alexander Lukashenko's post-election crackdown last year. His government is accused of promoting charter flights from Iraq and Turkey and then transporting them to the border, leaving Lithuania puzzled about how hundreds of migrants have arrived in the country, compared to just 80 for the whole of the year of 2020. use of migrants as a tool to exert pressure on EU member states is nothing new, as shown by Brussels' current compensation agreements with Libya and Turkey. But ahead of Thursday's European summit, the Union has a double challenge. How to stand up to a brutal government that can rely on the production of its old Soviet masters in Moscow should things get tough? On that note, we inquire about the expulsion of France's ambassador to Belarus over the weekend. Meanwhile, Poland's far-right nationalist government, which has profited politically by adopting a hard stance on immigrants, particularly Muslims, since 2015, has enforced a media blackout on the border area and is now talking of building a Donald Trump-style wall. What is the path ahead, now that a wider rule of law confrontation with Brussels is looming? Political experts told CNBC that European leaders should pay more attention to Belarus and its weaponization of refugees, raising worries about Minsk's strong connections with Moscow. Belarus and the EU have been at odds for a long time, particularly when Minsk ordered a commercial aircraft to land, detaining two regime opponents who were flying from Greece to Lithuania. Belarusian officials claimed that the plane's landing was necessary due to a security concern. aftermath of the event, the EU's 27 member states increased sanctions on Belarus, although tensions between the two countries remain high. Lithuania, Latvia and Poland, which share a land border with Belarus, have reported an increase of migrants and refugees from Belarus, particularly Iraqi and Afghan nationals. Lithuania has begun construction on a border barrier with Belarus, while Poland has proclaimed a state of emergency. The three nations have accused Belarus of flying in people from the Middle East to dispatch over their borders. According to Bob Dean, senior research researcher at the think tank Klingendale, this is a serious problem for the EU. He went on to say that Belarus's government is taking advantage of a vulnerability in the EU by weaponizing migrants. In European policymaking, migration is a stumbling block. The European Commission, the EU's executive arm, has unveiled a strategy to improve the EU's response to migration problems. However, so far, the EU has relied heavily on third country assistance to halt huge numbers of migrants and refugees. As a result, the EU is very reliant on nations like Turkey and Belarus. According to Sergio Carrera, Director of Law and Home Affairs at the research tank CEPS, at the research tank CEPS, the EU is vulnerable due to its reliance on other countries. He added, the EU needs a strong strategy to deal with this. 
On Wednesday, the President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, recognized the need for a stronger and more unified response. The European Commission has aided Lithuania, Latvia and Poland to resolve the problem, but analysts want to see more.